panel is clean and since I thought I had two extra of these stickers from eBay which I don't have so I'm going to leave this area in this blue tape all the way down to here in the uh, charcoal black the rest of this will be painted now to find your lines if you use this type of tape which is scotch plastic tape this is for uh, very fine lines or to give a very very sharp edge or for uh, pin stripping you can get it at any automotive store I'm gonna take 800 grit sandpaper I have a hard block or a soft blocks and a, even a softer block use your fingers you're only gonna get put pressure here 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 and here and here maybe when you go like this if you use a block you'll get even pressure plus you'll get three by six you probably get 18 square inches of pressure to smooth everything out so these are a really good buy for that. Now, on your uh, sandpaper, I have a thousand grit. It will say in the back, 3M is best sandpaper. A thousand grit is good for for uh, uh, doing your clear coats. Um, 800 or 600 is very good for doing your uh, primer. I'm going to use the uh, 800 for the primer or my clear coat. Now, these, this paper is specially made you can see the crease in the middle. This block or any sanding block sold in the world will go on either side of it. You just rip the paper down the middle. It'll look like this. And you actually put it in the middle. You go like this. Then you go like that. Then you have some water with some soap in it. You dip it in the soap. Just like that. A little bit of dish soap. Now, as you can see where the Hayabusa sticker has come through, this was absolutely smooth when I started. Now I'm, I'm rubbing the clear just a little bit. And the uh, clear will turn a kind of a dull gray, but whatever doesn't get done, I'm doing this just to show you, you always want to go one way. You never want to go in a circle or you'll show it in the paint. You never want to go like this and like this. Go Try and go one way if you can. That's just one thing as painters know. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, now as you can see, the Hayabusa emblem, it's in Japanese, so I can't read the damn thing, but it says Busa right there. I have to get that smooth to where it's not there or it'll show up in the finished paint. I also have a spot right here which is a rock chip I wish I would put a little bit of uh, spot primer and I mean uh, spot putty but you want to take your hands all your fingers and your palm and rub them over your whole panel whatever you're going to do and feel if you can feel any kind of a ridge or a bump a depression or anything you're gonna, you'll see it in the paint. Now our, our, our task is to get the panel as smooth as possible. So that, uh, I gotta turn this crap off. There we go. So that our finished coat will be as smooth as possible. Because if I, if I was to paint this dupla color or the, ground coat over the Hayabusa you'd see it so I have to take my sandpaper and I'm going to go over all this area this is just put on to show you see, I'll take it off right now I'll go over all this area then I will take my uh, protractor here right here and I will find my centers here and here and down here Never use your eye on it because your eye will fool you and then when you get it all done it'll look weird and you're going damn I can't fix it. So always use a protractor or ruler and use these as your center points to find your center.
Okay, I'm going to sand this down and we'll go to the next step. I've taken my 800 grit. I've started to pare down the clear. And as you can see, the Hayabusa emblem is not coming out yet. What I have to do is keep sanding the clear until this is not there anymore. And as you can see right here, let's see if I can show you some of this. I had this perfectly sanded, absolutely smooth when I last did this, but the clear kept on drying and as it dries the solvents come out of it and as the solvents come out the paint shrinks into the cracks. So that's a common problem, which I'll get into later. These cracks right here are stress cracks, very hard to fix. Just right along here, I'm going to take a router and a Christmas tree router and go in and dig a trench. Then I'm going to put some uh, JB Weld in there and sand it down, see if that helps. And then I have a couple of, these are, this is a couple of clear drops I dropped from my uh, can of clear on there and I got to get those smooth and then there's a little problem right over here you can see where I put the spot putty in this one hole spot putty is um, orange and it's uh, um, just thick uh, primer filler now you don't want to you want to save your edges for last all these edges here 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 around the bottoms don't even touch until you get all the flat surfaces done the edges have the least amount of paint on them. You want to stay away from the edges at all costs. Once you go through the paint, you can't bring it back. If you're going to do any polishing with the machine or anything else, always do your edges last. Stay off all these little edges. Anything that's an edge. Because if you, if you burn through it, you're screwed. Okay, I'm going to clean this panel up and we'll keep on moving. Now I've taken a uh, Dremel and routered all the crack area, which is here, all the way down to here, around here, and up to here. You have to go beyond the crack. I'm going to use JB Weld in here and then sand it smooth, and hopefully it will hold. I, you, I should use a plastic welder, but I don't um, have one, and I don't want to drive around and get any of this stuff. Now the... Um, Hayabusa decals, you can see it's smooth. Use your hands, you can tell it's gone. These will be the last things I get. I've decided that I'm going to, I'm just going to come down from here to here and leave this black and I'll fix all this up and paint all the rest of this purple. And you can change your mind and have any kind of design you want. But after you get it smooth and no problems, use some spot putty on that, then we can give it a good wash and put on the uh, ground coat after I mask this area off here and here okay that's next